Hey Credit Warriors, welcome to the show and we have a rumor video for you today. I love a good rumor video. So Delta Sky Club access and if you don't know Delta Sky Clubs are Delta Airlines airport lounges that you can normally only get into with a business class ticket. But Delta Sky Club access for a long time has been a benefit of the Amex Platinum, the Delta Reserve and the Delta Platinum American Express cards. So even if you're only flying economy, you can still get into the Delta Sky Club with your card. The Amex Platinum and the Delta Reserve offer unlimited access for primary card holders and their authorized users, and you can pay $50 to bring in a guest. While the Delta Platinum, which is a lower tier card, even though it's got the name Platinum, it's, it is a sort of mid-tier travel card, um, you have to pay $50 per visit. Now you might think that's a little ungenerous, but the Delta Platinum is actually the only way you can now get a day pass for the Sky Club, since single visit passes have actually been discontinued. But this may all be changing according to an internet rumor that was posted on Reddit's r slash credit cards subreddit by a user named Leaking the Truth. And this person claims to be an Amex employee. Here's what he says will be happening. Probably not exciting news, but there's a huge change coming to Amex Delta cards and Platinum cards in terms of lounge access. Delta will be restricting access to Delta Platinum cards and Delta Reserve cards will still have access, but greatly restricted starting on 2024, 2025. Platinum card holders will also be restricted from Delta Sky Clubs and will have only up to six complimentary access passes per year. So it seems he means that the Delta Platinum, which is the one that currently gives you access for $50 per visit, will lose access completely. Completely, then the Delta Reserve and the Amex Platinum will get restricted with the Amex Platinum only having six one-time use passes per year. And down in the thread, he goes on to talk about what is happening with the Delta Reserve. Delta Reserve limit to 10 visits per year and only basic card member. No increase of annual fee for neither basic nor authorized user. Then he goes on to say that the reason that they're doing this is that lounges are getting overcrowded and it's basically the same as what Amex did a few years ago with the Centurion Lounge limiting access to Platinum and Centurion card members only, okay? You used to actually be able to pay a fee to get in no matter what Amex card you had, they discontinued that. And then more recently, they stopped giving free guests to Platinum card holders unless you spend $75,000 in a year. Now it did get a little confusing, but he does actually come back later further down the thread and give a more thorough explanation. So let's check that out. Starting on quarter one, 2024, Delta Platinum won't have access to the Sky Clubs. Starting on quarter one, 2025, Delta Reserve card holders that have not spent $75,000 plus in a year will have up to 10 visits per year. Just remember that the Amex Platinum went through the same thing recently with Centurion lounges. This makes sense to hold until 2025 as it gives reserve card holders time to spend $75,000 during 2024 and enjoy full access once this goes live for them by 2025. Same deal for the Amex Platinum, but they are capped at six visits per year. And he says the emails are gonna be sent out about this in September, October time. And yeah, this is the same same as what the Amex Platinum did. They gave you a year to spend $75,000 before they pulled the plug on your free guest access. There is one thing he said that seems to be positive though, but before we get into that, if you have American Express cards, such as any of the cards mentioned in this video or any other Amex cards, and you want all your Amex offers added to your card automatically, you've got to check out the sponsor of today's video, Max Rewards. Their pro version, Max Rewards Gold, does just that, adding all your Amex offers to your card so that you never miss a deal. You might even even use an offer accidentally. Like for example, the other day, I was shopping at Dell.com to use my Dell credit or my business platinum, and I used an Amex offer without even knowing it and got a $15 statement credit. And when the app has activated all of your offers, additional Amex offers that you never knew existed will appear in your account and get it added to your card too. So why not give it a try for yourself with a free month of Max Rewards Gold with my link below. You can also use my link to download the app and check out the free features, which include pooling data from all your cards regardless of issuer in one easy to use dashboard. So you'll be able to see your transactions, your balances and your points and miles balances all in one app from every card in your wallet. All right, so there is one seemingly positive thing and that is although the Amex Platinum will be losing unlimited access and going down to six passes per year, it does seem that this is regardless of the flight, okay, regardless of airline, i.e. you don't have to be flying Delta. Now that is a positive change since you could be flying economy with another airline and maybe there's no priority pass lounge, no Centurion lounge in that airport terminal, 
but there is a Delta Sky Club, well, you could go there, regardless of what airline you're flying. So to recap, it seems that Delta Platinum loses access completely in 2024. Delta Reserve maintains unlimited access until 2025, and you've got the whole of 2024 to spend the $75,000 required to keep your unlimited access in 2025, otherwise it goes down to 10 passes per year. And the Amex Platinum gets six free passes per year, and it seems that they have the same deal as Reserve, spend $75,000 in a year to get unlimited access. And it seems that authorized users on the Reserve card will have access to the same 10 passes. So when they use their card at a lounge, it deducts from those 10, they don't get 10 of their own, which is disappointing. And Amex Platinum authorized users may lose access altogether. Now guys, remember, this is just a rumor at this stage. Even though this person has provided a lot of information, it's still just an internet rumor. Okay, he does claim to be an Amex employee, which may be true, but from his language, it seems that American Express is still deciding a lot of things at this stage. And the user says that he will have more information after a Tuesday meeting, and well, Today is Tuesday, so we might be able to update this story pretty quickly once he gets on the internet after his meeting. So what's my opinion on this? Well, these changes are obviously bad, but how bad? Well, for the Delta Reserve to not have unlimited lounge access unless you spend $75,000 a year, I would say is a bit ridiculous. It's kind of a set thing that the highest tier credit card, I like to call them tier four, of any airline co-branded card, right? The highest tier normally gives you unlimited lounge access with that airline. For the Amex Platinum to go down to six Delta Sky Passes per year, I'm not actually so concerned about that one. I mean, if you were like a Delta Power user, you'd probably have the Delta card anyway. And the Amex Platinum gives you a load of other lounge access. So it's just six passes as one option in a suite of different lounge accesses. Now I am flying Delta next month on my trip to Hawaii in economy. So I may actually want to use my Delta Sky Club access. Obviously, it's still unlimited for us at the moment, so no problem. But even in the future, between my Amex Platinum, my business Platinum, and my wife's Amex Platinum, we would have 18 Sky Club passes. That's more than enough for us for a whole year. And you know, we rarely fly economy, so we normally have access to an airline lounge. But even if we are flying economy, we're going to have the options of Plaza Premium lounges, Centurion lounges, Priority Pass lounges. And it's only if all of those fail would we necessarily need to use uh, these Sky Club passes. So for us, I can envisage, you know, a limited number of passes actually being enough. And you know, there's nothing worse than having to line up and wait like 20 minutes or half an hour to get into a lounge or even being turned away from a lounge because it's too full. So while I'm disappointed, I would say that these changes are probably needed if they're real. I mean, We'll find out soon enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to get a free month of Max Rewards and get all your Amex offers activated automatically with my link below. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new, and we'll update this story as soon as we have any new information on it. See you next time.